Vail Fucci, the headshot doctor here. Today I'm going to show you how I edit this image in Evoto AI. Normally this would have been a pretty time-consuming edit in Photoshop, but let's see how this really simplifies the process. Okay, so first we'd go over to uh, the Freckles and Acne tab. Just move that over. Wow, it takes care of that super fast. Now we want to dial it in so he still has some skin texture there. We don't want him too smooth, but still want to have it take care of any blemishes. Next we bring down the different shininess he has on his face. Take the under eye circles, make it a little bit less pronounced. And we still want him to look real. Smile line, same thing, just a little bit. Going to bring some more definition to his chin. And then kind of even out the tone from where the chin is to his face a bit. Next, we'll kind of give him a little bit more unifying skin tone there. Okay, that's obviously too much. Going to dial it back. That looks about right. Now we're going to brighten up his teeth because who doesn't need that? We all need our teeth brightened just a little bit. Now, with this uh, new version of Evoto, they have added in a healing brush. And so you can see these two little spots. There's one blemish right by the edge of his lip that it didn't automatically get because it's thinking it was part of his lip. Bam. Just click on it. It's gone. Now that same little white spot of his eye. Click. Bam. Gone. Love it. Let's see just how it does with these little spots of hair. All right. That's pretty great. Wow. Look at that fill in. This is a trickier spot down here with the flyaways at the bottom. Taking it little by little, just to try first here. Oh, I like that. There, that looks like a natural hairline. And last but not least, we can use the liquify tool here and fix this little tiny bit of wrinkle on his tie there. So I'm just going to make it nice and small. Go in and just push that in, that little by little bit there. Just slowly and carefully moving that in so that it looks just right and natural. And that edit is done. So that edit only took me 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And that was with me explaining step by step what I was doing. If I was just doing that on my own, it probably would have taken me mm, tops 30 seconds, which is a huge time saver. And now I love in this new version of Voto that they have that I'm able to use a heel brush so I can even get those little tiny blemishes that by chance the AI might miss just because it's right near a lip or an eye or something along those lines. So it's just really incredible what this can do as a time-saving feature for you as a headshot or portrait photographer. So if you want to try it out, check out in the description below. I have a link that will actually get you 30 free credits to be able to try 30 free exported edits for yourself on Evoto. And I think you will be just like me and within a couple edits or so, you'll sit there going, how did I ever live without this? It is really just incredible. And I hope you have found this helpful and I hope you enjoy using Evoto in the future. Thanks. Bye.